Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and today I will be doing, as you guys seen by the title, I did do the My Heritage DNA kit and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. So I know y'all here to find everything out, to get the tea, to get my business and I usually don't be letting y'all in my business unless it's cooking or something simple, but I'm going to go ahead and let y'all in on this. So. Anyway, a friend of mine did the MyHeritage uh, DNA and I said, you know what? That's interesting. I would like to know too. I would like to know about my blood. I mean, of course, y'all know I live for Jesus. I live for the Lord. I live for God. So, you know, I know I got the blood of Jesus in me. I know about that. But I said, you know what? I was curious. So, anyway, if y'all been following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram at Arika Misha, guys. Go, go ahead and do that. But yeah, anyway, I did do the My Heritage DNA kit. Did that. And I got the results back, guys. A hot mess. Okay, so thank you to all my subscribers. And for those of you who are not subscribed, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, y'all. I don't want to make this a long, outdrawn video. So, let's just get into it. I'm still in shock. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, uh, so uh, first off, if you guys are interested in doing the My Heritage DNA kit, uh, you can go to myheritage.com. Easy. Go there. Simple. You know, you guys can go ahead and get everything set up. It's easy. It was simple, easy. I went online. I uh, requested the DNA kit. They sent the DNA kit. Took about a week to get it. You know, had little swabs, do the swabs, and um, you mail them in. And then in about two to three weeks, you get results. I think it was like two weeks for me, and I got my results. I got them right here, y'all. Let's get into it. All right. So let's start off. Uh, with the percentage I'll give you guys the percentage and then I'll give you because the uh, my heritage on their website of course I wasn't gonna sh you know show y'all on my computer that's showing all my government information all my information so I got everything written out here uh, printed out here uh, so I'll be reading uh, from their website I printed everything out all right so um, DNA results all right so let's start out with the beginning all right the first percentage 43.2% I am 43.2% Nigerian yep Nigerian 43.2% Nigerian now what um yeah I know what my heritage also does for you is they give you you know like a little brief description of the of the ethnicity so I'll read a little bit Okay, so 43.2% Nigerian. I'm Nigerian. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, because, see, I always knew, I always knew, you know, you know, I got the blood of Jesus, but I, I, I always knew I had. Uh, okay, y'all. Y'all know I'm crazy. So, yeah, I'm telling y'all, y'all know my personality. If y'all don't know my personality, y'all finna see it. So, anyway, all right. So, um, Nigerian has the largest population in Africa, and its people belong to over 250 sub-ethnic group, the largest of which are the Asan and the Aruba. Nigeria was ruled by various kingdoms and tribal rulers and became a colony of England in the 19th century. Many people of African descent in America, many people... Many people of African descent in the Americas, and particularly in the Caribbeans, have some Nigerian ethnicity. And you know, it goes on, gives you more and more information. So, I just want to, you know, briefly read each percentage. Like I said, I don't want to make this a long video, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything. All right, 43.2% Nigerian. <laughs> okay, anyway. And... <coughs> Excuse me. And when I get through going through all the percentage, of course, percentages, I'll go ahead and show you guys. I did print out the percentages off of the My Heritage. And you know I blacking out my government information. But anyway. So y'all can see I ain't making this up. Alright, so the next one. 
21.6%. I am 21.6%. Sierra Lenning. Sierra Lenning. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Sierra Lenning. Okay. Sierra Lenning belongs to the 16th century ethnic group, the largest of which are the Mede and the Temne in the 16th century. Sierra Lenin became a major shipping center for the African slave trade. Over a century later, free slaves from North America returned to the region, found fledging, uh, found fledging colonies. People of African descent in the Caribbean and the Americans often have some Sierra Lenin ancestors ancestry and of course like I said it gives you more and gives you a whole you know paragraph spill but I don't want to read everything so uh yeah uh 21 21.6 percent uh Sierra Lynn which is a uh, part of Africa okay okay <laughs> I'm black I know I'm black <laughs> don't get it twisted I know I'm black yeah anyway let's continue all right the next percentage I am 16.9% Kenyan. 16.9% Kenyan. It's in my blood, y'all. That's like y'all can't take that from me. Y'all can't take this from me. This is in my blood. It's in my blood. It's who I am. 16.9% Kenyan. Thank you, God. Okay. So, people of Kenyan descent have inherited a highly diverse genetic heritage from a region that is home to almost every major ethnic group found in Greater Africa. The majority of Kenyans belong to various Bantu subgroups. People with Kenyan ethnic groups are also found in the islands near Kenya, Kenya, including Madagascar. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Seychelles, Comoros. And Runyon Island in the Indian Ocean. Y'all don't quote me on that. I'm just trying my best to read these. Major migrations over the last few decades due to the economic and political instability has resulted in a large Kenyan population in the UK, US, and Australia. Kenya was produced uh, Kenya was produced a disproportionately high number of elite distant runners most of whom are members of the Kalejin tribe. All right, that's just a little brief description on the Kenyan. 16.9% Kenyan. In what? In what? Moving on. Okay, next. I am 5.4% West African. Yes, 5.4% West African. There are over 340 million West Africans living in the continent. And further, innumerable, uh, and further, innumerable number of people of West African descent spread throughout the Americas. West Africa was united among the Guyana Empire around 1000 BC and was subsequently affected greatly by the African slave trade and European colonization. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. So far, your girl just black, 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 black. African, 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 African. Yeah. But I felt that in my blood. Okay, you all, moving on. All right, here's where it gets interesting. Hope y'all ready. But y'all can't deny this, because this is in my blood. I have didn't have proof this is in my blood. So you can't deny it, I can't deny it. It's in my blood. Okay, moving on. Next, 5.3%, I am 5.3% English. English. 5.3% English. Let me read the description. Ages. Other ethnicities migrated to Britain, rather by invitation, European Jews in 1070 by William the Conqueror, through, uh, though they were expelled 
about 200 years later by virtue of the African slave trade, dating back to the 1730s, or trade, including the oldest Chinese community in Europe dating back to the 19th century. After World War II, the diverse immigration increased by leaps and bounds so that the melting pot of English ethnicity has seen increased diversity from Caribbean, South Asian, and Africa. That said, the dominant, original British ethnic group is dominated by the English, of course, and include the Celtic heirs and some of Welsh, Scottish, and Irish descent, respectively, have settled in modern day England. 5.3%. Okay. Moving on. I am 4.7% Scandinavian. Yep. 4.7% Scandinavian. Yes. <coughs> now let me read the brief description per my heritage. All of these descriptions, let me once again make the statement, all of these descriptions that I'm reading are off of the MyHeritage site when they give you the percentage of your ethnicity. They give you a brief description. Okay. Now, 4.7% Scandinavian. It's in my blood. I am who God made me. Scandinavian is a region of Northern European that includes Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Scandinavian people share a common North Germanic heritage. Germanic tribes of antiquity, antiquity travel south to continental Europe along trade, fishing, and conquest routes, eventually colliding with the Romans. Migration from Scandinavia to other parts of Europe began centuries ago in the mid Middle Age Vikings, Norse seafarers who raided and traded from Scandinavia across across large swath of Europe that their genetic mark throughout left their genetic mark throughout the continent. The Vikings also traveled westward into Greenland and further into a region of coastal North America and they reached the tenth century and called and called Vinland and called Vinland. This may ref, be referred to Newfoundland. People with Scandinavian ethnicity also settled Faroe Islands in Iceland where they formed a very isolated endogamous community. In the late 19th centuries, millions of Scandinavians immigrated to Northern American and Scandinavian culture influences is readily apparent in the Midwestern United States. Okay, almost finished y'all. Okay, so, um, Scandinavian, okay, we did that. All right, 1.9%, I am 1.9% Mesoamerican and Andean. Hold on, y'all. Let me read the description. I was like, Meso what? What, what? Okay, the population of Mesoamerica and South America includes a number in, of indig indigenous groups with pre-Columbian roots. Colombian, Colombian, and you know what? Let me just finish reading. Okay, pre-Columbian roots. These include the Maya people of Mesoamerica and the Quechua, Chibcha, and Amara people. I'm trying, y'all, of South America. If I mispronounce it, please forgive me. All right, of South America. Quechua was the official language of the Inca Empire, the largest empire in pre-Columbian South America, extending through large portions of the Western Southern America and headquarters of Cusco in modern day Peru, Peru. The Inca built extensive roads networked through the empire, invented, oh, invented high altitude agriculture methods specialized for the challenge challenges in this region and developed developed highly regulated social structures adhered by millions of subjects ancient central american civilization such as the mayans and aztec 
produce many important innovations such as unique writing systems, pyramid construction, complex mathematical and astronomical observations, early forms of medical surgery, and accurate calendar systems. That's my 1.9, y'all. And last but not least, I am 1.0% Inuit. It is spelt I-N-U-I-T, Inuit, about this ethnicity. The Inuit are the in indigenous people of the Arctic in Alaska. When I hear Alaska, all I feel is coldness. But okay, I don't even like the cold. I don't even like cold. Okay, okay, okay. Northern Canada, Greenland, and Siberia. Currently numbering about 200,000, the Inuit are likely the descendants of one of the later waves of migration from Northeast Asia over the Bering Straits during the last ice age. Ice age. The Inuit culture have developed ingenious methods for surviving some of the harshest living conditions on Earth. They invented tools of hunting and fish of scarce materials, including dog sleds, insulated chaos. They have also had to make certain genetic accommodations to their environment. The Inuit have developed an ability to survive on a diet that is high in animal protein. Well, y'all, that's it. Y'all got it. That is my DNA. This is who I am. Y'all, I read everything to y'all. Now, let me show y'all. And of course, anything that you see blacking out, this is my government information. Of course, I blackened it out. But I did leave my first name. Y'all know my first name is Arika. So, here it is. I printed it out for y'all. Make sure y'all, make sure y'all can see. Here it is. There are the, oh, come on. There are the percentages here on the side gives you all the percentages let me bring it in for y'all all the percentages on the side and then the smaller percentages are here at the bottom you guys can see and it gives you, it gives you like a map so you can see where everything is and as you can see this is Africa and this is like a lot over the other region over here and you guys can see this is the my heritage all right, and you guys can see here my name. Of course, I blackened out my last name. So you guys can see this is mine, and I did print it off the My Heritage website. You can see it across the bottom, and they give you the MyHeritage.com on the side. Let me bring it back. Hopefully, you guys can see it. But yeah, so. Let me just, you know, I just want to give you guys a short version of how I feel about it. Um, the 43.2% um, Nigerian. Okay. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Nigerian, I'm cool with that. Um, and, and like I said, it gives you, it shows you on the map. And 43.2% um, Nigerian, uh, of course, gives you, it's right here, Africa. Uh, the Sierra Leone. Um, the 21.2% that's also right here in Africa and I like how they give you the map and shows you um, in the Kenyan I mean that's just that's just you know right here right here in Africa so I mean that's good to know I love it um, the West uh, African also we know that's Africa right here in Africa um, now the um smaller percentages like the english scandinavian that threw me for a loop uh the mesoamerican uh you know like the colombian i i was i was shocked at that one too um the inuit never really you know really heard of inuit so i did a lot of reading and research on that and i gave y'all a little brief description that my heritage gave me as well um so yeah uh how i feel about it I'm glad that I did it, you know, because I'm at, I'm on a spiritual journey right now. And I felt to begin this spiritual journey, 
I had to know where I came from. You know what I mean? As far as like the, I mean, I know where I came from. I mean, but as far as like my blood, you know, like getting down to the nitty gritty, which is like, it don't get no deeper than your DNA. I mean, your blood. <laughs> That's it. So, um, and of course, if you guys have never watched my channel, if I haven't said it, I am a child of the king. I am a Christian. I live for God. Am I perfect? No. Nobody is. Um, but like I said, I am on a spiritual journey and I wanted to get this to be, well, I wanted this to be part of the first steps, you know, right to the root of it. Let's get to the blood. So, um, I'm happy with my results. I mean, what? I can't be mad. I can't be sad. I, I mean, hey, it's, it's the blood. It's DNA. It's the truth. I can't deny it. So, but I'm happy with all the percentages because all of these percentages make up me, make up who God. And this, these percentages, all of these ethnic backgrounds is who God made me. It's, it's who God wanted me to be. So it does not bother me one bit. Um, the English and the Scandinavian and the Colombian, the Mesoamerican, I mean, that threw me for a loop. But, you know, those are a small percentage. Don't bother me. It didn't bother me if it was a high percentage. Like I said. All of these percentages, they do not bother me at all. This is who God made me. Um, it's, it was exciting for me. And I, I suggest, I do suggest to people that you you go and do it. I'm just my opinion, you know, to know, you know. So now that I know this, now that I know about the blood. And of course, I, uh, number one, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus flows through my blood. You know, they ain't going to give me that percentage because that, that percentage, I already know. The blood of Jesus is in my blood. What percentage? whatever the blood of jesus flows through my blame so um yeah it was shocking it really was shocking in the beginning but i'm getting used to it and like i said i am happy about it i'm happy i did this and like i said i'm at the beginning of a spiritual journey so i did want to do the whole dna so that i can start you know this spiritual journey and you know my opinion i suggest you know if you want to do it go ahead and do it like i said uh you go to uh, myheritagedna.com go there and um i think the um testing the testing kit was like fifty dollars fifty five dollars i mean they have special they have a special now for like thirty nine dollars so you know I don't know when I'm going to schedule this video. I was thinking, like, I got my results in December, but I'm thinking about scheduling this for, like, February, you know, Black History Month. Yeah, that'll be perfect. I don't know when y'all going to see this, but I am going to schedule this for February, Black History Month. Perfect. Perfect time to schedule a video. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and like I said, guys, MyHeritageDNA.com. You guys want to know, go on their site. And you guys can go for that. It was easy. I just paid for it online. They sent me the kit. I did the swab. Mailed it back in the little kit they give you. It's really easy. And once they get it, they email you. They communicate with you. Let you know what stages it's in. So you can know, okay, it's in this stage. It's in that stage. You should be getting your results soon. I mean, I really love how they did the process. They made me aware of what's going on. Now, y'all, this ain't sponsored. My, my heritage. Y'all holler at me. I have to email them about a sponsorship. But anyway, y'all. But yeah, my heritage, they really did. They made it very easy. Because I was like, I don't know about this. This this sounds a little complicated. But it wasn't. It was easy. It was real easy. And I thank God for that because I was not with the foolishness. It was quick and it was easy. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. My camera cut off. So anyway, let me go ahead. Let me just wrap this video up. Um, but yeah, like I said, I was excited about everything that I learned. I do suggest that you do it so that you can learn more about yourself. And like I said, it gets no deeper than the blood. You know what I mean? Everything is in our blood. Our DNA, everything. Our heritage is in our blood. So I suggest that you do it. MyHeritageDNA.com. So, but yeah, guys, I'm glad I did this. It was exciting and it was awesome to know. And you know what? Now that I know all this, I have all this information about my blood. It's like... Since I know this now, it's like, okay. Okay, that helps me know who I am even more. Because I already know who I am, you know, because the man upstairs. Because God already told me I'm a child of a king. So, you know, but this just helps me even more to know who I am. But, yeah, guys. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Uh, like I said, it was, it was interesting. 
and uh thank you guys so much for sharing this with me thank you for clicking on this video to find out about my heritage about my dna and you know what though it explains so much like things that i like cultures that i like and just it just makes sense like i was always like what why why i like that and why why am i interested in that why i like that more than i like this and like this dna just brings it all to make sense like it makes sense because it's in my blood it's, it's girl it's in your blood it's who you is so yeah y'all this definitely lets me know why i am the way i am and the things that i like and things that i was like oh why, why i like that you know so all right y'all i can go on and on thank y'all so much for clicking on this video uh, thank you for sharing this moment with me. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and once again, I'm Arika Misha. Um, I've been on YouTube now almost two, yeah, two years. It's been two years uh, since I've been on YouTube. Um, I do all kinds of stuff. My channel isn't just one thing because me, God has given me many, many talents. I cook, um, family vlogs, I do nails, um, I record getting, I do like protective hairstyles, natural hairstyles um makeup i do um make like you know makeup tutorial i film this um i do amazon unboxing makeup unboxings i do all kinds of stuff on my channel y'all so it's not just a one channel that just does one thing i do all kinds of stuff on my channel so all right all right y'all let me go thank y'all for sharing this moment with me thank y'all for clicking on this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on all my social media at erica misha and don't forget guys that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.